Director of Institute of Security International Studies here in Bangkok at Jalalongkorn University. Uh, warm welcome to everyone. This is an unusual format. I think the first uh, first time we're doing this uh, virtually. I know that we have uh, uh, a lot of participants joining from different time zones. So uh, warm welcome. Um, and uh, I want to uh, first uh, acknowledge uh, Dr. Tedros uh, Adhanom uh, uh, Ghebreyesis uh, for, for joining us later on to uh, uh, recognize, acknowledge, and, and thank my colleague, uh, uh, Mr. Herazor Hazri, uh, the CEO of, of ISIS Malaysia, and the, the whole team of ISIS Malaysia for doing all the heavy lifting, organizing this, uh, this flagship event on behalf of ASEAN, ASEAN ISIS Network. Um, we have had uh, a lot of uh, issues and disruptions over the past uh, almost two years now. I want to first uh, go back a little bit uh, to maintain some continuity. You might see that the, the 34th um, edition of the uh, APR, Asia Pacific Roundtable, is a little bit like a deja vu because we had the, the 34th uh, uh, last year, but it didn't, it didn't happen. Uh, at that time, I want to go back to the, the previous uh, uh, year last year that you know we had uh, Professor Eileen Barbiera, who was supposed to uh, uh, address or uh, provide some opening remarks and, and, and lead uh, the charge as a uh, chair of uh, ASEAN ISIS, but uh, you know she, she passed away uh, early last year after COVID, the pandemic uh, uh, came out, uh, emerged, so, so we really miss her. She was uh, a huge contributor, an eminent scholar, um, you know, so we didn't have that last year. I just want to say also last year we had a very kind of uh, different uh, issues that uh, uh, were on the agenda. We were um, looking at uh, US-China, of course, last year as a plenary, and then ASEAN consensus, uh, unity, uh, economic cooperation, regional integration, uh, environment, climate change, um, and then some domestic politics, anti-establishment, uh, uh, voices and, and tensions uh, uh, across the region, and then the U.S. foreign policy. So these are uh, the normal kind of uh, hot buttons for us, uh, you know, in, in ASEAN, ISIS, and ASEAN, but across across the region and across the, the think tank platforms. Uh, this year, uh, we have very different uh, lineup uh, of issues and, and the agenda. Of course, uh, there are two major areas, policy issue areas that are dominating <clears throat> Uh, this year's program. First, of course, uh, up front and center is the pandemic. Coronavirus pandemic uh, is setting the tone, setting the stage, uh, determining the framework and framing the issues for, for us uh, during these next couple of days. Uh, so the pandemic and uh, the global realignment is the first session, which I will uh, co-moderate uh, with my colleague, uh, Thomas Daniel uh, from ISIS Malaysia. And then the second, uh, we will look at the social political cost of the pandemic, uh, the digital sovereignty, and then the, you know the, the, the long-standing issue of the South China Sea uh, vaccine distribution and diplomacy. And then we have a couple of uh, ambassadors, uh, you know, by the uh, a couple of ambassadors looking at the key issues, including uh, Myanmar. Uh, and then we have a session on on Myanmar. So the two main issues that are new here. Uh, are the pandemic and, and Myanmar. The other issues, you know, of course, we can talk uh, and we have been discussing uh, over the years about the South China Sea, uh, more recently, maybe the Mekong region, uh, mainland Southeast Asia, upstream dams, lower stream, uh, downstream countries suffering from that, uh, and then uh, a range of other issues associated uh, with the US China uh, under Trump and now under Biden. Uh, so these are, you know, the, the go-to issues. But now I think the next couple of days we are more focused on the pandemic, uh, what it means for us, how long it will last, uh, when re recovery will take place, uh, in what shape, what form, how will this uh, impinge on the uh, relations, uh, re regional dynamics in the region, uh, Southeast Asia, East Asia, and beyond. I know we have uh, viewers uh, joining from from uh, different time zones, also from the U.S. and, and in Europe. Um, and all over Asia. So you know, these are consequential issues having to do with the, the pandemic and external shock. Um, and so we'll look at this uh, in, in, in great detail in the next couple of days. Also, um, we also will be tuning in on the 
Myanmar, focusing on Myanmar, because the February 1st military coup in Myanmar has changed the complexity, complexion of, of the region. Uh, ASEAN, 10, uh, 10 member states, uh, one now is, is out of action. To, uh, it, it has a lot of uh, problems at home. There's a internal conflicts, a stalemate, uh, what looks like a civil war and uh, is taxing and, and straining ASEAN uh, focus and resources and attention. Uh, and we'll hear more about that, about the, the ASEAN uh, five-point consensus, consensus where, where Myanmar stands uh, within the ASEAN mix at this time, uh, including issues that the, that the UN uh, wish government to recognize from Myanmar, which is the legitimate represent, represent, representation of Myanmar. So, so these are the key, the key issues. I mean, you know, the vaccine, the, the virus, the variants, of course, within the pandemic, but uh, the Myanmar uh, consequences for, for ASEAN, uh, centrality, unity, community. Uh, this is some, something I think this is the uh, existential challenge for, for ASEAN now, uh, what to do with, uh, with Myanmar. In addition, all the ASEAN countries um, to different degrees uh, are also suffering from, from the, the pandemic, the, the infection case loads, um, and also the death toll and uh, the, the vaccine rollouts have been uh, slower than intended. Uh, except perhaps uh, a, a place or two, uh, all of us are suffering from this pandemic. So on, you know, these are the range of issues we'll be looking at. Uh, some continuity from last year, but but a lot of new issues. You have two major uh, new areas would be the pandemic and Myanmar. Um, I want to just uh, acknowledge also to thank again to my my colleague, uh, Dr. Ha uh, Mr. Hazri uh, of uh, ISIS Malaysia, Malaysia ISIS Malaysia team. Um, and also to acknowledge that the, the next chair for ASEAN ISIS will be, will be Vietnam, uh, the DAV, the Diplomatic Academy of Vietnam. Uh, I look forward to the proceedings. I hope uh, you will find um, a lot of stimulation, dynamism in the discussions to come over the next couple of days, uh, starting out with the first session, which, which I will co-moderate uh, shortly. Thank you very much for joining and uh, let's have a productive couple of days. Thank you.